For the past few years, Gabby Hanna has been on a mission to become a famous singer and get her music out there. During her peak on YouTube, Gabby's music career was doing amazing. She was able to use her money from her YouTube videos to fund her dream and do these really creative, high quality music videos. Some of her earlier music videos have over 15 million views, which is pretty amazing for a YouTuber. It's always really hard to break away from what you're known for and get your audience to follow you over to something else. Luckily for Gabby, she built a really dedicated audience over the years and they were ready to support whatever she wanted to do in the future. Here's where I think Gabby went wrong. She stopped doing the videos that her fans loved. She stopped doing the story times, she stopped doing the cleaning videos, and people lost interest. People love Gabby as a storytime YouTuber, and they love the feeling of being close to her and feeling like your friend was telling you a story. Her fans were excited to support her doing music on the side, but once she completely switched, the core audience she once had started to get smaller and smaller. You can clearly see the decline in her streams on YouTube. For an example, her song Happy from 9 months ago only has 508,000 streams, whereas her song Honestly from 3 years ago has 12 million streams. But in saying that, 508,000 streams is nothing to laugh about. There's so many small artists who would die to have that kind of exposure. Gabby has been doing social media for a long time now, and no one stays at the top forever. She's had a successful career, she's been a New York Times bestselling author, she has a house, she's able to support herself without really doing much now. Gabby acknowledged this a few weeks ago and was talking about how she will never have to work a real job ever again. Here's what's awesome. I will never have to be employable. The next comment he left was in a corporate setting. God bless me for not having to ever worry about working in a corporate setting if I don't want to. I set myself up like that. I have time today. <laughs> Cause here's the thing. I've done so fucking well for myself. People, and I'm not bragging. I'm just like, I need to set up the foundation for this. I'm bragging a little. I have two New York Times bestselling books. I have multiple songs and projects that have charted on the billboard. I was one of the top earning YouTubers for years. I had 7 million subscribers. I hosted on MTV. I hosted for Refinery29 with massive celebrities. I hosted the Grammys red carpet. Y'all forget I was and still am that I took a little break, but I am that And that's great for her. But tell me, does this sound like someone who is looking for their first ever big break in life? Or does it sound like someone who's probably already had their big break? I guess despite everything Gabby just said about her successful career, she still doesn't think that she's had her big break yet. Gabby is being called out for entering a contest for artists who are looking for their once in a lifetime chance at a music career. The contest is called Opening Act and Gabby tweeted about it, writing, I'm competing to play the Hollywood Bowl. Please, please, please vote. You can vote once daily. A dream come true of gigantic proportions. I want this so bad. No matter what, thank you for getting me to this point. Only up from here, please vote. If you go on the Opening Act's website, this is what it says about the contest. Every artist or group needs one big break. Odyssey is giving artists of all genres and ages the chance of a lifetime. Who will be the next Opening Act? One artist will open Odyssey's biggest concert of the year at the Hollywood Bowl and take home $10,000. Pop singers, songwriters, jazz ensembles are all welcome. Get amped and share your music with the world. Our 2021 opening act rocked the Hollywood Bowl, opening for the Black Eyed Peas, Coldplay, Doja Cat, Maroon 5, Sweetie, Shawn Mendes, and The Kid Leroy. Gabby even has her own profile on their website and she did an introduction Q&A and this is what she had to say. What do you enjoy most about being a musician? And Gabby said, sharing music is the only way I've ever felt safe connecting with others. Sometimes it feels like I'm speaking in code. It saved my life. I'm most excited by the global impact that music can make, uniting strangers across oceans and centuries. If you were the next opening act, what would you do with $10,000? And Gabby said, share it with the people who got me there.
So this contest is giving small artists the chance to be the opening act for shows played at the Hollywood Bowl, which is a huge venue. So many really well-known artists play at the Hollywood Bowl, so being able to open for them would be a massive opportunity. Even them offering the winner $10,000 just goes to show that this contest is for people who are looking for their big break. They don't have millions of followers with 15 million streams on their music videos. These should be people that would need that $10,000 to kickstart their music career. If you look through the opening act hashtag, most of the artists applying are small artists. A lot of them have under 10,000 followers and they just post their music online hoping to be recognized. I am so excited to announce that I will be competing in this year's opening act competition for the Hollywood Bowl in LA. I am so excited, um, but guess what? I need you guys to do me a favor. I need you to go ahead and click that link in the bottom of this and follow it and just go ahead and vote for me. So the voting will be from now until September, I believe. And it's like different stages of the competition. So I'm gonna need you guys help. So go ahead and retweet, reshare, like, send to all your friends and family because I can't do it without you. So please, please, please vote. Thank you. Which is why so many people think Gabby Hanna competing in this contest is completely unfair. Gabby has a huge audience that will take the time and vote every single day for her. There's no way anyone competing in Gabby's category would even stand a chance against her followers. Gabby knows this too. She knows that she has a huge advantage because she announced on Twitter that she wasn't even going to promote the contest until she advanced to the top 20. She wrote, gonna wait till the top 20 to really harass everyone about this, but don't forget your daily vote. Still currently number one in my group. Let's keep it going. P.S. Top 20 is announced as my album comes out. God's plan. And now she's officially advanced to the top 20 and is still sitting at first in her group. Kind of upsetting for the other artists in her group who probably didn't have millions of followers to help push them. A lot of people are understandably really upset about this, and some are even saying that she should probably drop out. This is meant for small artists. That's really uncool of you to participate in this contest with your big platform. Not intending to be mean, I was made to believe this contest was for small creators to get exposure they wouldn't be able to get otherwise. The music industry is flooded with so many talented persons now, and with a music video totaling 15 million views, it doesn't really seem fair to enter. Please drop out of this. You're being super by taking up space in this contest. She legit entered a competition for small artists and she's winning it now because obviously she has way more followers that will vote for her. Literally ripping a huge opportunity away from small artists who would so deserve it. Other people made the argument that the contest is actually for indie artists and they're saying that Gabby does technically qualify as an indie artist. Looking at the signups and registrations for the contest, it never said anything about super small artists or small artists in general. They asked for indie artists, and what an indie artist is, is an artist who releases under their own name or under their own label. Unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be any rule that says you can't apply if you have over a certain amount of followers or are already technically an established musician. Obviously, it's not really nice or fair of Gabby to enter a contest like this, especially knowing that she'll probably win due to her followers. But really, the fault kind of lies on the organization. If they truly want to give smaller artists and indie bands their big break, then maybe they should put rules in place that stop people like Gabby Hanna from entering and kind of cheating the system. Like Gabby said, she's already had a super successful career. She's had music videos with millions of views. She's been doing live shows with fans who travel across the country to see her. I think it's definitely unfair, but at the end of the day, the organizers need to put rules in place to prevent this from happening in the future. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. Do you think Gabby has every right to enter the contest? Or do you think her fan base gives her a totally unfair advantage over the others and it shouldn't be allowed? Let me know and I'll see you next time.